It's not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, or that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the pressure that's going to be on the naked shorters is about to be even harder. Okay? Trump Media CEO has written a letter to Congress asking them to investigate the fraud and corruption in DJT stock. And I know it's not AMC. I know it's not GME. But I'm going to tell you something. Any investigation that shines a light on the naked shorting, in my opinion, is positive for AMC, positive for GME. In his letter, Trump Media and Technology Group is asking Congress to investigate its suspicions that illegal activity is driving down its share price. In a letter disclosed on Wednesday, which is today, Devin Nunez, the CEO of Truth Social owner, Truth Media, DJT, alerted the GOP chairman of the House Ways and Means Judiciary Financial Services and Oversight Committee to the urgent matter of potential manipulation of the company's share price. We assess there are strong indications of unlawful manipulation of DJT stock, Nunes wrote in the letter. Let me tell you guys something. I've been telling you guys this for a very long time. AMC and GME are not the only stocks that they naked short. I believe they naked short every single stock in the market except for Berkshire Hathaway because it is, it is too expensive for them to naked short. Too expensive. And the reason they can do it, because when they get caught, there are no real consequences. They usually pay a small fine and they get to keep all the profit from the legal activities. And usually, usually, they are not brought to justice till 5, 10, 15 years after the malfeasance occurred. So why would they stop doing it? I am, I don't want to say happy, but I am optimistic that Trump media putting the naked shorting on Front Street, putting it out there for everybody to see, asking Congress to investigate it. I believe this is positive for AMC retail investors. It's positive for pension. Pensions is positive for institutions who don't break the law. The individuals that are breaking the law, that are naked short in stocks like AMC, GME, and DJT, they need to be indicted and they need to be held accountable. That's really the bottom line. They say they're smart money, but how are they smart money when every single week, every single month, every single year, we catch them cheating to win? If you were so intelligent and the rules are bent in your favor, why do you still need to cheat to win? You know why? Because you guys are criminal money and we are smart money. Because you can't beat us without cheating. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's positive for the, the CEO of, of DJT asking Congress to investigate naked shorting? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.